the welcome course phase two program with the new name naming is going to start at the end of this year this is a new announcement that came out from welcomecourse.org welcome course phase two is not the same as phase one the phase two is called naming which means we select the refugees that we would like to bring into the united states the phase one which is called now matching is going to be random matching so we don't want to apply for phase one because we want to be matched with a random refugee that would like that's already approved for this program let's go and back and focus on phase two which is called naming so naming is going to start at the end of this year with the new requirement the first one the refugees have to live in in another country other than the original country of uh, nationality which means they cannot live in this own country and apply for welcome to program which is naming program they have to reside in another country but it doesn't guarantee that they will be approved for phase two welcome course which means it has a chance but it doesn't give them a complete uh, approval for them to migrate from their own country and go to another country and be approved for welcome course so we have to be very careful with that because so many people are migrating out of their own country and trying to apply for welcome course for welcome course is saying that this will not guarantee you that will be approved for welcome course another one is refugees uh, will come to this country but the sponsors have to live in the same community they cannot live outside of the state or another country to sponsor this refugees refugees can be grouped into five or more this is what this is also a new update so the five or four more can come together and apply for this refugee program to bring in either a, an individual or family members family members per this definition could be you know according to our last update the parents uh grandparents or grand grandkids coming together and live in one roof and then they define them as family so we can bring them here by the way group five could include your colleagues your schoolmates uh, your friends your family members or any member from your community can come together and sponsor these refugees what else do we know so this program is also approved for uh, UNHCR approved uh, uh, refugees but also they have to be above 18 they have to be above 18 they also have to fulfill other criteria that's also been a status so far they will be contacted by USRAP USRAP means United States Refugee Assistance Program this is the program that's running the welcome course so what we do first we have to pay attention what they told us to, to do or not to do the first one is they told us not to apply now for welcome course two phase two which is naming they told us not to apply now they told us also not to complete the welcome course plan and they told us also not to do the background check the second one the second to do instruction given to us is first of all take the training and second take the webinar follow up with the webinar that will lead you how to complete the package third form a group strategize or plan how to bring in these refugees into the community these are the to do's and not to do's instructions that they gave us yesterday or recently so what do we need to do now the second one is what do we have to pay is first of all once they told us at this this, this year what to do and not to do they will open a new page of phase two and then what we have to do is apply for the refugee individual or family members and then that family member or refugee will be contacted by us or ap and they will do conduct interview they will screen the the refugee according to the guideline by the way it doesn't guarantee them or it doesn't give them a preferential treatment to have you know be enrolled in welcome course welcome course will follow the same refugee processing as the other refugee processing uh, applications 
which is not going to be a guarantee for these uh, refugees to come into the United States. So welcome course is saying that we have to you know, apply first and they will contact them. They will conduct interview and screening, background checks, medical checkup that will also be conducted similar to the other refugee application processes. So, and then once it's approved, they will come to the United States. That is the process they are going to follow. But before that, we have to be prepared. We have to be patient and wait for the Welcome Course group to open this portal, new portal for us to apply for phase two, which is called naming. I hope this will help you. And I'll put the link in the comment and support our program by subscribing to our YouTube and also comment, like, and share our programs. Thank you.